Right morning, everyone. Good morning. With the customary chaos going on, that was rubbish. <laughs> anyway, morning, everyone. It is lovely to see you all, and uh, welcome to Zest. Uh, there's a few people who might not have been here very much before, so just morning, guys. Uh, just a reminder. Um, all is uh, COVID-y, security stuff. So, um, you know, if you can avoid kind of licking each other, that'd be great. Um, <laughs> there will be spaces around the church to go to in a bit. I'll explain. Um, there's alcohol gel. There's a sign-in and all that kind of stuff at the back. And uh, what was the one thing I was? Uh, there's always one thing. There's always one thing I'm building up to. I can't remember what it is. Oh, I forgot what it is. It'll come back and I'll have to just chuck it in the middle. Anyway, uh, you are all very, very welcome. Um, we are going to pray as we start. There's a fine supplement. There, there, there is, but we're going to pray before okay. the fine. That's fine. It's good. Excellent. Um, actually, I just remember what it is as well. It's about this video. It's you guys that reminded me. It just means that if you don't want to appear on a video, or you only kiss to appear on a video, this is kind of where it's pointing. It'll be off during the time that we're on the zones, so like I'll go turn it off and stuff. But yeah, if you don't want them to appear, um, it just means that if we get a rogue child and you don't want to appear on the internet, then um, it means I can't put the video up and then anyone watching from home can't watch anymore. So um, that's just so everyone knows. Right, that was Rod's memory. Let's pray. Lord God, thank you so much for bringing us all here. Uh, thank you for the chance to come together on a lovely day and worship you. And we pray that you would help us as we look at one of the stories of your people um, in their early churches. It's all getting started. That you would help us to learn what it is that you want to tell us today. Amen. Okay, and we've skipped a bit. Oh, have I put it in, in the wrong order? Right, slide in the wrong order. Well done, IT department. Um, so one of the things we normally do is we come to say sorry, but we thought that it's just too much of a car crash into sorry, so we're going to try saying thank you first. So, has anyone got anything they would like to say thank you to God for from last week that they would like to shout out? Anything that's good happened? Anything at all? The weather, someone said the weather, that is amazing, that's awesome. So uh, yeah, we'll say thank you to God for the weather. Anything else? Struggling to hear? Broccoli. 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 We're thanking God. That might split the congregation somewhat. <laughs> we're we're going to struggle with that one possibly. It's good. Uh, anyone else? We have the weather and broccoli. Nice. And people we haven't seen for a long time. People we haven't seen for a long time, which then couples in with Nanny and Granddad coming. That's good. Right? People we haven't seen in a long time. Anyone else? L Libby and Hannah. Libby and Hannah, cousins. Cousins, great. So are you coming uh, to visit? Excellent. So that's also a folk we haven't seen in a while, because it's been a while, is it? Awesome. Great to see you guys. Uh, right, last one, anyone? Holidays. Holidays. Right, excellent. So let's just say thank you. Thank you, God, for this amazing weather and for the chance to have some time off to relax, maybe to visit people and to be visited. Thank you for all those people that we haven't seen for a while. And it's so good to see them again. Amen. Right, now we're going to do the sorry slide. That's it. So what we do every week is we come and we confess. And we do that in lots and lots of different ways. And the important thing here is to remember that we all just mess up a bit uh, over the week. We're not quite the people that we want to be, that we know we should be, that we thought we were. We say things and do things, or maybe even just don't do things when we know we should do things. Uh, and we're not very proud of it. So this is our chance to come and say sorry to God. Maybe it's our chance to say sorry to each other as well, if we're sitting next to each other. Um, and uh, it's each other will be upset. Um, but this is our chance to come and say sorry. And we do it in lots of ways, is it? Uh, but today we're going to do, I can't let you do this by yourselves because of Covid, but you remember before we used to drop things in the water and let them disappear? So if you think this stands for all the things that we did wrong this week, okay? It's not very big. Hopefully it's not very big anyway. If you need a bigger one, you'll have to come and see me later. <laughs> but, uh, but this stands for all the things we did that we shouldn't have done last week. And this one stands for all the things that we didn't get around to doing that we know we should have done. Okay, so have a little think. Is there anything of this one you want to say sorry for? And is there anything of this one you want to say sorry for? And then we'll say sorry to God as I'll dump them in. So Lord God, 
we are sorry for those things that we did last week that we know we shouldn't have done. Um, we, were, uh, we are a bit sad and ashamed about it. And we're also sorry for the things that we didn't get around to doing that we know we should have done, like maybe caring for other people more. And we just ask that you would forgive us. Amen. Okay, so what's happening now, you may or may not be able to see from where you are, is that these are bubbling away. And uh, what will happen is they are gradually disappearing. And that is a picture for us of how we know that God is forgiving us for all those things. And it's something that we can be really thankful for. So we'll say a quick thank you prayer. Thank you, God, that just like these things are disappearing, you take away all that we have to say sorry for. So we don't have to worry about it anymore. We don't have to be guilty anymore. We don't have to feel bad. And uh, we ask that you would help us to live differently this week, to be people that um, do what you want us to do and uh, act the way you want us to act. Amen. And they've all gone, which is great. Um, right, okay, so we're going to have Andrew come up and read us today's story. Thank you, Andrew. So, can anybody remember the collection of stories that we're reading at the moment, what it's called? Four little letters. The something of the something. It's on the screen. <coughs> there are <laughs> Acts of the Apostles. We're working our way through, not all of it, but we're, we're working our way through and finding out about what happened with the early church as it, uh, as it grew after uh, the ascension. And so today we're at chapter 6 of the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, the number of believers was growing. The Greek Jews complained about the non-Greek Jews. They said that the widows of the Greek Jews were not being taken care of. They weren't getting their fair share of food each day. So, the twelve apostles gathered all the believers together and they said, it wouldn't be right for us to give up teaching God's word and we'd have to stop teaching to wait on tables. Brothers, sisters, Choose seven of your men. They must be known as men who are wise and full of the Holy Spirit, and we will turn this important work over to them. Then we can give our attention to prayer and to teaching God's word. This plan pleased the whole group, and they chose Stephen, who was full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, and they chose Philip, and Prochorus, and Nacanor, and Timon, and Parmenas, they were chosen, and the group also chose Nicholas from Antioch. He'd accepted the Jewish faith. The group brought them to the apostles, and then the apostles prayed and placed their hands on them. So God's word spread. The number of believers in Jerusalem grew quickly. Also, a large number of priests began to obey Jesus' teaching. So the words that Jesus was telling people and the stories about Jesus and the things that he asked the disciples to talk about was beginning to spread further and further abroad. And as that church became more organized, they needed people to do lots of different jobs. And they thought about it prayerfully and along with they commissioned people to do special gifts and special jobs. And we continue to do that now. In this church there are people who we've asked to take responsibility for special jobs so that Steve, as a busy man, can get on teaching us more about Jesus and doesn't have to worry about all the other things. And so that's continued week in, week out, year in, year out. Um, but it first began here in the Acts of the Apostles. Thanks, Steve. Cool. So, um, so as Andrew said, yeah, the key part of the word for this morning is governance. No, it's not. Okay, <laughs> but this is kind of where the story is. But we're going to think about a bit about what it might mean for each of us, actually, in a little growing church, in a world where there's lots of new needs and, and things that need to be done and, and things that need to be met. Um, and so we're going to think about that in our zones this morning. So if you have had, like, <laughs> like me, a, a slightly slow morning, I think I had a bit too much sun yesterday, everything's a little bit slow. Um, then you might need the quiet zone, which will be around here, uh, as quiet as it will get. Um, there will be reflections on, oh, it's like, oh, <laughs> um, reflections on the screen for you to think about. There are only one way of thinking about the story, but you could think about them using those little uh, questions. Then we're back to thinking about zones, so there's crafts and colouring in all these plastic packs around the church, dotted around. There's three tables up there, and another four, uh, three tables over here. Um, 
the idea is everything in your pack should be what you need for craft or the colouring. Um, so you shouldn't need to share if you have any issues with that. Find Andrew, uh, which is great. Um, and the craft this morning is because it's a story about things that happen with a growing church. It's you can make little growing people out of spoons, which I think is awesome. So this is great. So if you fancy making some of them, everything you need is in your plastic pack at your table and you'll have about 20 minutes-ish uh, to make them. Um, did we decide we were going to be stringing them together at the end? I don't think that's happening. That's not happening. <laughs> so we are making lots and lots of uh, spoons. If we can find an oasis, we can all stick them in. Anyway, um, that's, that's the craft. So have fun. Um, and then key stage two slash, it's just two this morning, I think. It might be slash three. It's slash three. Uh, over over there, um, there'll be stuff going on for you. There's Lego, there's, uh, word searchy stuff and there's, there's a discussion happening and then if you're not them and you wish to knock this around and work out what it means then um, follow me and I'll be heading out to the parish room which is behind the building um, and we'll sit in there and we'll chat it over for a bit and see what we make it story. So hopefully everyone can think of something they'd like to do. What we normally do is all stand otherwise no one moves. So we'll all stand and we'll say a quick prayer and then we'll go to zones. So thank you God for this story and we ask that you would help us uh, to understand what it is that you'd like to say through it. Amen. Okay?